welcome to Information Technology class. My name is Susan Jumbo. Today we'll be looking at the theme, Basic Knowledge of Information Technology. And our topic is the internet, looking at the search engines. Now by the end of the lesson, you should be able to identify different internet search engines should also be able to state specific uses, the uses of the search engines, and then use a search engine to obtain information and download materials on the internet. Now, all over the world, the internet has proven to be a very useful resource for getting information. Whenever we need information, want to get information, most of us, or all of us particularly, will always go to the internet to search for information. It contains a lot of websites dedicated to thousands of topics relating to health, education, history, government, entertainment, and so on and so forth. The internet is very broad. Now, to get the best form of the internet, it is essential for users to know what it offers and how to access its services. So we can always go to the internet to search for information concerning health. We can go to search for information on education, entertainment, and so on and so forth. Okay, now what is the internet? The internet is defined as a global system that makes it possible for computers worldwide to share information through various computer languages called protocols. Now on the internet, several activities are carried out. What are these activities? Discussions, chatting. We're familiar with most chatting groups that we all join and then we chat with our friends, family, and even people within locally and people abroad, we're able to chat and then discuss with them. File transfer, you can transfer files via the internet. To search for information, what our topic is centered on, research. You can also use the internet to search for information using search engines. Emailing, always send emails. We have various email addresses that is unique to each person. You have unique email addresses that you can use to send mails to people. Now, to search for information on the internet, we use the search engine. Now, what is a search engine? A search engine is a program that searches the World Wide Web for information on a term, a keyword, or a phrase. It provides a list of possible websites related to what was searched for. You can type using a search engine in the search box for a particular term, maybe matter, or a keyword, or phrase, what I want to buy, or what I would like to buy, or I would like to buy a cloth. And then the internet brings various websites that links to what you searched for. And then it shows you different, maybe clothing websites, websites related to clothes or a shop that sells clothes. Now, virtually any topic you can imagine can be found through a search engine. We have different types of search engines. Now, there are different search engines, but we're looking at Google, Yahoo, and Bing. We have various types different types but today we'll be looking at the google yahoo and then bing now google is one of the most used search engines now this link takes you to their web page once you get this link you put it on a browser it takes you to google web page now as you begin to type let's say you, you're, you're typing what are search engines in the search box. Once you go to this link, you see a search box, you type, what are search engines? Google will begin to auto-suggest for you to start giving you different, I just type what are SEA, 
I've not finished typing, but these are the suggestions that pops out. If maybe it's related to what you're looking at. What are search engines? What are seafood? What are search engines used for? So I just click on the first one and it gives me various websites, various websites that I can use to tell me what the meaning of search engine is. Now, Google provides a lot of other services like giving one access to maps. There are Google Maps. If you're on a journey, you want to know where you are or where you're going, you can use the Google Map. Local weather conditions. You can know the weather condition in your environment using Google. Images, videos, and of course, free email accounts like the Gmail. Okay, let's look at Yahoo. Yahoo is also another popular search engine. Yahoo is a very useful search engine. When you click on this link or you go to this link, you go to their website. You can type on this search box for whatever you're looking for. You want to go to entertainment. They already have links for entertainment. That's other features that are on Yahoo. They have link on sports, finance, news, mail. That's the Yahoo mail. And so much more. Lifestyle. If you click on more, you have others that Yahoo offers. Free mail account, videos, and so on and so forth. So they're not just used for searching for information. They have other features that they also give and to help us on the internet. Now, Bing like other search engines, provide a variety of search services. Bing is also a very popular search engine. When you click on this link, it takes you to their web page. And then this is the search box. You can type for whatever you're searching for. If you're doing a research, if you're trying to find out one or two information, you can search for it using this search engine. Now, Bing also gives other features, which includes web, video, image, map search services, and so on. Now, what do we use a search engine for? A search engine can be used for the following purposes. For research, if you want to know more about a particular subject, more about a particular topic, you can use a search engine. Either Google, Yahoo, Bing, MSN, there are so many of them. You can use them to research for whatever you're looking for. The second use of a search engine is to obtain information. When you've searched for whatever you're looking for, you, they give you different websites. You're able to get information. You're able to learn more or know more about that particular subject. You can also use a search engine to shop. You can know which particular shop is trending or a shop that sells at a particular price. You can also use this search engine for entertainment. If you want to know which show is going on from now till a particular period, maybe from now till the end of the year, or a show that is close to your area where you stay. You can do that using a search engine. And there are other uses of search engines. Okay, now let's learn how to download a document. If you need a document when you're offline, you need to still use it for other work. Let's learn how to download a document from the internet using a search engine. Now, this information, that's videos, images, email attachment, and so on, can be downloaded into our computers. Now, to do this, you need to follow these steps. Now, let's use Google as an example. You can use any of the other search engines, but the course of our class today, let's use Google. Now, you log into their website. This is your web browser, and then you log into their website. You get Google. You type the topic for research. What are search engines? Click on the first one, since that's what you're looking at. Then you click on any of the websites that opens. A lot of websites will open. 
in this we have wikipedia you can also search for wikipedia and you have different websites that will open to tell you more about wikipedia you can click on them for further research some of these documents can come in pdf form you can click on the link that has pdf and then download it goes straight to your downloads in your computer then you can use it to read when you're offline in summary we looked at the internet and we said it's a very useful resource for obtaining information and then we said with the internet we can search for virtually any topic any topic ranging from health to education to government entertainment and so on using a search engine and then we said a search engine is a website used when searching for information on the internet and what are these search engines that we looked at today we looked at google yahoo yahoo search and then we looked at bing we said we have several others but in the course of our lesson we looked at these three there are some examples of search engines and they all perform similar functions Okay, let's take this question. Which of these is not an example of a search engine? A, Google. B, Yahoo. C, Chrome. D, Bing. Okay, the correct answer here is Chrome. So what we looked at today, we looked at Google looked at Yahoo and then we looked at Bing. Chrome is a web browser. Okay, students, we've come to the end of today's class. I hope you're able to define what a search engine is. You can give the different types of search engines and you can tell the uses of these search engines. I'll see you in our next class. Bye.